Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got major leaks to go over about the Pokemon franchise regarding Generation 10, Legend ZA, release date updates, starter updates. There's so many things to break down and take a look at today. So if you're excited for the video, drop a like down below, leave a comment, subscribe if you're brand new and let's get into the video. So, starting things off, we have a massive bombshell from Riddler Koo here today regarding Generation 10, Legend ZA release date updates, starters, there's so much stuff to break down. It's a dark day for Pokemon though, if this does all turn out to be true. Again, you can choose to believe Riddler Koo or not. He's obviously got a very interesting track record, Generation 8, Generation 9, BDSP, all of that information that he gave about those games turned out to be correct. Recently, it's been a little bit shaky though, because obviously he did kind of hint that we were going to be getting something this year, and now that doesn't seem to be the case. So you can choose whether you believe him or not. I'm going to believe him just because his track record is very, very good, but it is, it's looking a little bit, it's looking a little bit interesting. It's a little, a little bit unfortunate with the Pokemon community. But anyway, we have Riddler Koo here with the first bit of information saying, have you prepared for Generation 10? 30th anniversary. So we have Riddler Koo here basically stating that the Generation 10 Pokemon games are going to be coming out during the 30th anniversary year, which is of course 2026. Now that is something that I've expected to happen for the longest of time. If you've been watching the videos that we put out on this channel for the last year, I've always been saying Generation 10 is most likely going to be coming out for 2026. It makes the most sense. That's three decades of Pokemon. They need to celebrate it in a massive way. And what better way to do that than with the biggest Pokemon game of all time? You know, they've been working on Generation 10 for a while now. We don't know anything about it, but it's apparently going to be coming out in 2026 and hopefully is going to be a madness of a game. But yeah, we have Riddler Koo here, as I say, stating that it is going to be coming out in 2026. A lot of people were expecting it to be coming out in 2025 because usually every three years we do get a new generation. So obviously 2025 would have been the next time we get one. But no, it is going to get pushed back to 2026. Hopefully meaning that it's going to be even bigger and better. And it is, as I say, going to be for the Nintendo Switch too. So that hopefully means that it's going to be even better regardless. But um yeah, I mean, I'm okay with it because I've just kind of like talked myself into thinking that it was going to happen anyway. Just Generation 10 coming out in 2026. I wasn't expecting to see it next year. I was just hoping that we would get something, you know, that like this year and next year to kind of keep us going into 2026. Uh, but either way, Generation 10, 2026, 30th anniversary, that's apparently when the next generation of Pokemon is going to be coming out. So that's the first leak. The next one is um, very, very unfortunate. So, we have Riddler Koo here saying Ikaku, which is the code name for Pokemon Legend ZA, will not be out too early next year. So, this could obviously be seen as two different things. He's saying two. He's saying not be. Uh, he's saying will not be out too early next year. So that could be taken as it's not going to be out too early. It's still going to be out kind of relatively early-ish but not too early so instead of like january february it could be out like march april so it's not too early in uh, in next year it could also be taken into the context where it's like you know it's not early next year so it's going to be late next year so like november 2025 so that is also something they could do because that obviously goes in hand in hand with what he said about obviously this so are you excited about pokemon day 25 still talking about ikaku so pokemon presents in 2025 which is obviously next february still talking about ikaku there was obviously different ways to kind of interpret what he was saying here that you know pokemon day 2025 could still be talking about Legend ZA because of a uh, free update or something like that. Um, but it looks like now that it is actually that um, the game's not going to be out by then, which is, again, really, really unfortunate. Um, so that's obviously going hand in hand with what he's saying here. So I wouldn't expect Legend ZA in early next year, like January, February. You know, obviously we've got Legends Arceus in January. That doesn't seem to be the case with Legend ZA. It is going to be later on in 2025, which also makes this bit of information that he said uh, earlier on in this week a little bit more interesting because he's saying also prepare for interesting goods coming later by the end of this year. So he's saying that something interesting is coming out this year, but then also goes on to state here. So we have Corley saying, so are we getting any Pokemon game this year? And he says, only focus on that card game app. So basically here he's saying that we're not getting anything this year. Your only thing that we're really going to be focusing on this year is the Pokemon card game app. But here he's saying, you know, prepare for interesting goods coming out later uh, or by the end of this year, and then he's saying, nope, just some funny goods that will empty your wallet. So 
it looks like this isn't going to have anything to do with Pokemon games. You know, this might be a new mobile app or something like that. Because I feel like if he was talking about Pokemon Pocket, uh, then he would have just said that. You know, he would have just said, you know, prepare for more Pokemon Pocket stuff. You know, there's going to be some good stuff in Pokemon Pocket that's going to make you empty your wallet. So, no idea what he's talking about here. I, I generally have... You know, like, no idea. I, I feel like he's talking about two different things, but he is saying here, you know, only focus on the card game app this year for um, uh, for Pokemon. So, yeah, like I say, if this is all turning out to be true, then no Pokemon game this year. So, Generation 5 remakes uh, are not looking likely. And as well as that, Generation 10, 2026, and also Legends ZA not coming out until later 2025. We also have this information about the starters as well. So we have uh, Vigilante saying, any news on the starters for Legends ZA? And he says, you're going to know them within this year. So we are going to find out about the starters this year, which is a bit self-explanatory because you'd expect the next trailer to kind of reveal some stuff about the starters. But if the game's not coming out until late 2025, you know, if it is coming out till like November... And then that means that the next trailer is going to be pretty minimalistic as well. Like, we might find out about, about the starters, but that's kind of it. I wouldn't expect to see any new Mega Evolutions or anything because I don't know why they announced it this early. Like, if it's not coming out till late 2025, why not just announce it in Pokemon Day 2025? It just doesn't really make any sense. They, I know they wouldn't have had anything to announce this year, but... It just It's just annoying for them to announce something so, so far in advance. I don't know, obviously, the games do that and stuff, but Pokemon never, ever do that. Um, so, yeah, they could have easily just kept this until next year's Pokemon Presents. I don't know why they really announced it now. But, um, yeah, that is kind of the latest information from um, Riddler Koo. It also makes this even more of a, a question now as well, what he's talking about here. Because, obviously, this was in regards to the Nintendo Switch 2 saying, and that project is on the way. I'm assuming that's Generation 10. But then he obviously says, by the way, three projects on the list so far, um, all for Nintendo Switch 2. But, like, when are they going to be coming out? You know, apparently we're not getting Legends ZA till late next year, uh, potentially. Generation 10 is not until 2026. It doesn't look like we're getting anything this year. So those projects are going to be very far in advance for when they're actually going to be coming out. But like I say, this is this is really bad news, you know, in regards to Pokemon. It it just, like I said, this is why I mean it's a dark day for Pokemon if this is all true. Because, yeah, obviously 2026 being Generation 10, that's fine because I was expecting that anyway. But Legends ZA not out till late 2025. And then also no Pokemon game this year. That is, that's really, it's really worrying, you know, because we have nothing that, like, we've not had an actual Pokemon game since two years ago, you know, because the DLC obviously was something, but it's not really a, a, a new Pokemon game. It's just extra DLC. So obviously that was out in 2023. Scarlet and Violet was 2022, but we're not going to get another game now until 2025. So that's three years since 2022, since the last time we got a Pokemon game. That is such a massive gap. Uh, it's ridiculous, it's crazy, man. It's, it's a completely different time. And obviously that might be something to do with the Switch 2, like with the release of that and stuff, but I, I just find it hard to believe that Scarlet and Violet's gonna be the last Pokemon game for the Nintendo Switch. I mean, Legends ZA is probably gonna come out for like the Nintendo Switch as well, but if that's not coming out till late 2025, the Switch 2 is gonna be out by then. So why would people buy it for the Nintendo Switch if they're gonna have the Switch 2 by the like, it, it just feel like it's not the, the best idea. It's just gonna hurt sales. So yeah, I don't know. Scarlet and Violet seemingly is the last games that most people are going to be playing on the Nintendo Switch because like I say, a lot of people will have the Switch 2 by the time Legends EA comes out because the Switch 2 is probably going to come out mid-2025. Um, and yeah, obviously if Legends EA comes out late 2025 and you've got the Switch 2, you're not going to buy it for the Nintendo Switch because it's going to be a much better version for the, for the Switch 2. But yeah, really, really weird seeing all this information today. A lot of stuff that I was not expecting. I was very confident we were going to be getting some sort of Pokemon game this year, but um, it's, it's not looking likely uh, that that is going to be the uh, the case there. But what are your thoughts on all of this? Um, what what are you expecting to to, to see for, for like this year in terms of uh, like Pokemon Pocket? What do you think the start is going to be? I don't know. It's really weird, man. It's just... Wasn't expecting this at all. But that's all the le that's all the latest stuff that Riddler Q's obviously said. We have Century Leaks also kind of... Um, listing everything that basically is going to be happening uh, now so new leaks via old leaker riddler coup so pokemon legends ZA won't be out in early 2025 it's still plenty of time to go pokemon tcg pocket is their big game for this year which is just crazy to say like a mobile tcg game is the big pokemon game this year 
wild. Uh, Gen 10 coming in 2026 for the 30th anniversary. So 2026, wouldn't that break the three-year cycle? That's correct. Gen 10 confirmed for Switch successor. Will it be another Gen 5-like situation? It should be for the Switch 2 game. And then obviously, starters are going to be announced this year for Pokemon um, Legends ZA. But that also has not been... Um, kind of revealed yet but uh yeah i don't know scary times uh we also have soul silver Art kind of talking about this as well saying if you've seen ku's latest posts you now know what the big changes here were well not all of the changes you should have known right when i started changing my tune i encourage rereading my quote tweet below for more clarity on the situation because the biggest point might be that the switch successor is in play so this is obviously in regards to uh kind of like the competitive scene and stuff and also how will uh, Pokemon kind of work over the next couple of years? We covered this in a recent video, so I'm not going to cover it all again, but it's a really good thread uh, of, of Soul Silver just kind of talking about uh, the potential of what could happen over the next couple of years. And, you know, does can the Pokemon TCG keep going with just Scarlet and Violet and Legends ZA till late 2026 and stuff like that? So, um, yeah, that's kind of what that's talking about. But we also have him here saying, also, like I previously said, this leaves very little room to speculate now that we 99% know what's coming for Pokemon in the next few years. Kind of sad to see because it's going to be a while and now we can't guess much about it. 30th anniversary was always a no-brainer, though. And then also we have Soul Silver saying the crazy thing uh, about Gen 10 2026 is even before Scarlet and Violet was out, I heard that either Generation 9 or Generation 10 would have a four-year gap in order to have a new Gen, Generation 10, on the 30th anniversary. Sadly, they chose Generation 9 to get the three-year dev time instead of now Generation 10, and Generation 9 may have suffered. Many people especially thought that Generation 9 would have been fall since uh, 2023, since Pokemon Legends Arceus came out in 2022. But as far as we know right now, Game Freak went with the other option. Let's see if things change, but like I said, the fact that they want something bigger on the 30th has been known desired since before Scarlet and Violet even had a release date. So yes, yeah, so one of the games were going to have to suffer with the way that they were kind of releasing these games, and that was Generation 9. It's going to suffer, which is why it just wasn't the best in terms of bugs and glitches and just you know, frame drop, something like that. Basically, Generation 9 walked so Generation 10 could run. That's kind of the situation that's going on here. But um, either way, yeah, really, really sad times in terms of Pokemon. It, as as Soul Silver Art says, you know, there's not a lot of room to really speculate now. Again, it, this is not 100% confirmed. You know, he has been wrong. He did say a lot of things recently that have not been true. And if he's now saying that there's not going to be a Pokemon game this year, then what happened to all of those tweets where he said, there was going to be something this year. You know, he said there was something going to be coming out later this year, literally a few days ago, and now he's already changed his mind about that. So, again, whether you want to believe it or not, it is completely up to you, but it's kind of a bit of a mystery now what he's actually talking about. He keeps changing his mind every day, it seems. So, um, yeah, I'm not completely writing off, obviously, something this year, but it's looking a lot less likely now, just from what Ridley who has said. But hopefully he's wrong again. You know, if he is wrong and we do get something announced then his track record is obviously going to be hurt quite a bit. So, yeah, it's not looking likely, but fingers crossed we still get something this year. But uh, as I say, I wouldn't hold out hope for it if, if this is all correct. But anyway, they are all of the latest big leaks in regards to Pokemon, Generation 10, Legend ZA. Uh, let me know your thoughts on all of it in the comment section down below. It is um, it's a big, it's a lot of information to digest, basically. And we have a little bit more information to go over as well today regarding the Switch 2 and also this. So, Cerebi update, the Pokemon Center online store is to soon come to Australia and New Zealand with a soft launch soon. So, if you are living in Australia or New Zealand, then you are going to be getting the Pokemon Center very, very soon, which is also really, really cool because Pokemon Center is great. Um, so, yeah, that's something to look forward to. It's going to have a soft launch soon. So, I'm assuming that's just going to be like a little bit of stock maybe and then they're going to just get bigger and bigger as time goes on. So, that's all the Pokemon stuff. We're going to finish today's video off with some Nintendo Switch 2 rumors. So we have Go Nintendo tweet here saying, Rumor, the Switch successor, clock speed, ray tracing, and more detailed. So um, for the tech junkies out there, there were a few months there where the Switch successor rumors died down. But in recent weeks, we've seen a major uptick with details coming from trans uh, trusted inside sources. Uh, that trend continues today, and it brings us a bit of discussion on the technical side of things. So thanks to YouTube channel Moore's Law is Dead and content creator The Forks on the Broken Silicon podcast, we now have some more rumored specials and technical details to go over. Again, none of this is confirmed, but here's the supposed inside scoop. So the Switch successor will have Xbox Series S level tracing functionality. Uh, the Switch successor will be clocked faster than we expect in docked mode. Uh, the Switch successor will be clocked crazy low when in handheld mode for better battery life. And then also, Nintendo is interested in both extended battery life as well as low RPM fans. So it looks like they're kind of steering a lot more into the direction of better battery life and just longer lasting battery life 
for the Nintendo Switch 2. And then also, yeah, being clocked faster than we expect in dock mode and stuff like that. That's all good news, I guess, uh, for the Nintendo Switch 2. And as we push deeper into 2024, the time we learn official details on the Switch, successor is no doubt drawing near. Will we hear something around that would traditionally be E3 this uh, year, or will Nintendo keep us waiting? All we can do is keep fingers and toes crossed for something official in the near future. So, like I say, this isn't like super, super trustworthy. I mean, it's just a rumor like this come out from um, people that have got correct information in the past. Like both of these people are relatively uh, reliable sources, but it's not like a humongous leak like we've had in the past for the Nintendo Switch 2. So let me know your thoughts on all of that. But of course, the main dish in today's three course meal is all of the information that's come out from Riddler Coup. So let me know your thoughts on that. It's a massive discussion to be had. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to be, like say, spoken about in regards to um, what's happening for the future of Pokemon. As I say, rumors will still be coming out. Uh, people will still be posting rumors. It will be interesting if uh, all the rumors now kind of corroborate with what's being said here. Like all of the 4chan rumors are now going to be talking about Gen 6 and tw uh, Generation 10 in 2026 and stuff. It's going to be very interesting now that everyone's going to be changing their tune. Uh, because a lot of 4chan rumors kind of just piggyback of what Riddler Koo says. But um, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. As I say, Dark Day for Pokemon. But uh, hopefully he is wrong. We do get something this year. But it's still going to be interesting to see what... It, this is, you know, also prepare for the interesting goods coming later this year. I have no idea now what he's talking about with that because I'm assuming it's not a Pokemon game. It might be a mobile game or something. I'm now expecting the Pokemon Presents in August just to be Le Legends EA stuff. We might get start Pokemon in that and maybe a Mega Evolution. It's hard to say really because the game's not going to be coming out for so much longer. But um, we'll have to wait and see. But let me know your thoughts on all of that. Make sure to leave a comment. Love to hear what you guys have to say about the whole situation. Uh, leave a like. Let's try and hit 500. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. It's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.